What's going on, A Pluses, Nerd Mixers? It is your boy, Indy Uchiha, Mr. Nerd Mix Alpha himself. And yo, episode eight of She Hawk, Ribbit and Rip It. Yo, this is what we've been waiting for. We had to wait to the penultimate episode, episode eight before the series finale. They, they made us wait for it, but tell me it wasn't worth it. And the way they set this up to me, this is the best episode of the season, hands down. No episode has been better than this. Just the uh, setting up the fact that it was a a solo, I guess, uh, a wannabe hero who had a costume. You know what I'm saying? Made by the costume designer that makes all the gin stuff, right? And he wants to sue the costume designer for his suit malfunctioning. Basically, his jet boots. You know what I'm saying? Going out on him and ended up injuring him. Uh, Jen doesn't want to do it because of the conflict of interest. So she tries to go talk to the guy, you know what I'm saying, the designer, have that beautiful conversation with him about trying to help with his legal issues. He's like, no, I don't I don't make mistakes. I don't make bad product. I'm not I'm not doing this. I'm not settling for anything. So they get into it with each other. And he's kind of perturbed with Jen basically for you know going against him after everything he's done for her you know what i'm saying all all the different types of uh clothing and stuff he's made for her to be able to wear one thing and change in size without it being ripped up and stuff like that so the dynamic to set that up and then they get into court and she's there like he's representing yourself you know like we got this in the bag you know a spitefulness uh the cattiness that they're having against each other because of the disagreement that they're having. And he and they asked the dude, it was like, are you representing yourself? He's like, no, my lawyer's running a little late. And in walks Matt flipping Murdoch. And he murders them. Murdoch mur hey that rhymes. Murdoch murders them when it comes to what's going on with the with the case. Because the idiot that she's representing ends up saying that he didn't follow directions that the designer gave him. And he ended up putting jet fuel in the boots. Which, because Matt Murdock is Daredevil and we all know about his special abilities and everything that he could do. He's able to smell the type of fuel that he used in the boots because the costume is there. So they're able to trick him. Well, not even trick him to do is just dumb as hell. Get him to go ahead and say that he did not follow the directions set put. And because he didn't follow the manufacturer's directions, the manufacturer is not at fault for anything that happened. And boom, Jen loses what we see as her first case that she had since she started with this law firm and what goes on. Right? So she ends up at that bar she's always at. Matt Murdock sees her. They have a conversation. He's telling her how she can do work, you know what I'm saying, work for them and work for us, you know what I'm saying, like type thing at the same time. So help the little people that can't help themselves when the law fails them, uh, similar to what he does. So he gets a message and he takes off. I have no idea who this message is from. I'm thinking maybe maybe it's Froggy. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we're going to see somebody else in this episode. But I'm guessing the message is coming from the designer because Leap Frog, who the guy that, served, that um, you see in the thumbnail, that uh, Miss Walters was, you know what I'm saying, serving as a lawyer for, ends up kidnapping the designer to force him to make a new suit and takes him back to the lily pad. This is where... Some of the best stuff I've seen in this show ensues. He takes off. Uh, the the lawyer calls. You know what I'm saying, Jen. I mean, not not the lawyer. Uh, Leapfrog calls Jen, asks for help. Somebody's trying to kill her, kill him. So she ends up coming to save him, and there's nobody else that Daredevil. You know what I'm saying on the car trying to get him because Leapfrog has kidnapped the designer. So the confrontation that they have, and Daredevil's able to like counter everything she's doing the cool thing i don't think people notice about this right is he's telling jen that she's on the wrong side she needs to slow down uh understand what's going on with the situation he never attacks her he's just he's just dodging and countering the entire time while she go while she's going on her little smash tastic journey you know what i'm saying that she's doing right and, and 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 they did kind of like have a little thing for each other at the bar because Jen's identity is out, you know what I'm saying, out front. Matt know who she is. But um, she ends up doing like the hand clap, uh, knocking against the car and then pulls the his mask off and sees that it's Matt. And she's like, what? 
what, what, what's what's go, what's going on here? So that that was uh that was interesting to me about you know what I'm saying that that going on. Well, not interesting, but the fact that she understood that that's why he figured out what he could do, and he she she even hit him with the Are you really blind? And he's like, Yes, I'm really blind. I just have heightened senses. And she's like, Echolocation. Like they keep making like the bat reference. I don't know, it's like a Batman thing. Or something like that, but it's funny. He's like, it's it's something like that. He's like, I can hear so well, I can see, but his all all his other sentences are very much heightened. So they go on this this escapade to to save the designer from leapfrog. Uh, they have the argument over. He's like, we're gonna do this my way. It's like twenty guards or something in here. I'm going to take ten of them out. It's gonna take me fifteen seconds per guard. She's like, it'll take you thirty minutes. I'm like, I know Jen isn't this stupid. Right, so they end up doing that, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, and everything, taking taking each other out, and uh, end up saving, you know what I'm saying, uh, the designer. He forgives her, tells her to go make a costume for the gala, that you know what I'm saying is going to have. I mean, it, it was it was it was really well paced and really well done, and uh, what was what was going on with that, but just the just the fact that it didn't feel like they were bringing Daredevil into, to me, into She-Hulk's world. It felt like they were taking She-Hulk into what Daredevil world was and giving us a, a glimpse of what we're gonna get from this reboot, uh, you know what I'm saying, Daredevil that we're gonna see. And I'm all there for it. And to come to find out, the, the yellow and red costume that, or yellow and black, I forget which uh, which color it is. Um, the, the 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 same designer that designed Jin's suit designed his suit and maybe when Jin makes fun of the colors you know what I'm saying that that he's wearing is when he goes back and he has the redesigned red suit done so I'm hoping like they tie something together that plus Matt and Jin end up sleeping with each other they end up snookies you know what I'm saying with the two of them and and the the hilarious thing is watching Daredevil hold his boots in his hand and do the walk of shame you know what I'm saying from Jin's apartment right so. The, the cool thing with that, uh, they they kind of sped into what we're going to get from the finale. So we all know that group that's trying to ruin She-Hulk. Um, she's at this uh, event where she's going to get an award for, you know what I'm saying, being a female lawyer. And I love the way they play it as they bring all the female lawyers up. They all get an award for being a female lawyer. Everybody says their piece. The... Um, the young African-American lawyer that she worked with uh, talks about, you know what I'm saying, the best thing about being a female lawyer is when people stop, you know what I'm saying, looking or regarding you as just a female lawyer. And then Jen goes to talk to say that she wants to thank her parents and, and different people like that. And then it comes up on the screen. Uh, uh, they pop up on the screen, like they take over the thing and they're talking about uh, how bad She-Hulk is. And, and there's videos of her, uh, all her information from the dating site all her real life information, you know what I'm saying, from the Jim Walters thing, uh, the dude she slept with, the vi a whole video of, you know what I'm saying, a little sescapade and stuff like that, of the dude that, you know what I'm saying, got all her information to start off with, uh, anything that was in her phone, because he copied her phone, man, and then she just goes into a blind rage, starts destroying stuff, and now everybody sees her as a monster, you know what I'm saying, so now she's finna understand the part that Bruce was trying to tell her about how hard it is to keep your anger in check and letting that, you know what I'm saying, that real hope thing come loose. So I feel like the whole episode with the uh, culmination of what's going on here just basically came full circle from the first episode when Bruce was trying to tell her you don't really understand what's going on here and you are a superhero now, that there's something different about this, you can no longer live a normal life, you know? So it's it, it, it made me hype for this season finale when before I was watching this show and just enjoying it now I'm watching to see where this is going for this finale I'm excited I want to see what happens let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe best episode of She-Hulk man follow us everywhere Instagram Facebook YouTube man let's go let's go and we got Werewolf by Night around the corner I'm talking about like a couple of days away. It's just so much great content out here. Make sure you guys go check out uh, Adam's Lord of the Ring reviews. Um, I know there's a lot of Power Ranger content in the drop. And hey, all my House of the Dragon stuff is up there too if you guys want to get in on that. See you next time. Keep it A+. This has been a Nerd Mix. Indie out.